Hello, this is a walkthrough of installing OpenNI2 onto the Jetson TK1. First, we install the dependencies of OpenNI2. We already have these installed on our machine, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Now we're going to do a git clone of OpenNI2 off of the occipital GitHub account. First, we switch over to the SSD. We're going to store it. Do a quick git clone. And switch over to the open NI2 directory. Next, we set up the platform compiler flags. These are the compiler flags that I've been using for the Jetson. Basically, the things that have changed are the, the float is in hardware, and I use Cortex A15. Save the file. That's useful. Next thing we're going to do is uh, change the common CPP make file. We're going to add LP thread to the libraries that are being compiled. And then to the actual make file itself, we're going to add the core samples and the tools so that we have some example programs to run. Make sure we save that. And we're ready to compile. So basically we just type make. So basically we just type in make here at the command prompt and it should start building the project. Spit it up a little so we don't have to sit through the scrolling text. In reality, this takes maybe three or four minutes running it off this uh, solid state drive. Switch back to normal speed, finish it up. Then we'll make the samples. They're already built, we didn't have to do that. What a waste of time. Let's build NI viewer that's in the tools. You have to set the GLUT supported flag to tell it to build it. Now we're going to uh, build the live FreeNet driver. Make sure that the dependencies are installed. And then we're going to get clone another uh, live FreeNet. Switch over to the live free necked directory. Make a build directory. 
and then CMake the make file. Hit make. And that should build the library. We also want to build the open NI2 driver. So then we make that. Then we're going to copy this over to the open NI2 directory. Next we set permissions so that we can actually use the camera. And we want to switch over back to OpenNI2 directory. And now we're going to copy the newly built, built files into slash user appropriately, I should say. Next we're going to create a package file so that Ubuntu can actually figure out that it has OpenNI2 installed. I already have that file of course. Get it ahead of time. Make sure you save it. Next, we want to make sure that the package manager can find it. And right now we're building version 2.2.0.33, so that's correct. So the last step is to set up uh, UDEV so that the USB knows how to handle the camera when you plug it in to the USB port. And at this point, we should be good to go. We'll run NI Viewer. Okay. Now we'd expect a window to open at this point but it doesn't. We may want to plug the structure sensor in at this point. Try it again. Oh, there we are. Oh boy, it works. Okay, bye.